Hello and welcome. My name is Jason Allen Jankowski. I'm your host for the morning Forex briefing and the afternoon U.S. dollar wrap-up. Thanks for stopping by my website. This video is uh, your free gift just for taking a minute to take a look at what I do and giving me a few minutes of your time. Thank you. Uh, today we want to talk just a little bit about what the insiders know. Can you see that okay? What the insiders know. And uh, in order for me to really uh, give you some good quality help here today, I want you to know a little bit about me. If you haven't ever seen my what I do, my website, or, or, or heard any of my broadcasts, or spend any time with me before, uh, I think it's really critical to understand a few basic things. First of all, I'm self-taught, self-educated. I started in this business in 1986 as a customer. Made my first trade uh, at the Chicago Board of Trade in the corn market. Absolutely loved it. Wanted to be in this business full time. Got started in 1987 as a registered Series 3 commodities broker, uh, switching to full-time Forex trading for myself uh, a few years back. Uh, why is that important? Well, I'm self-taught, self-educated, and when I got into this business, there was nothing. There was no help. If you, What you have now that you can look at today, what you're going to get today for free even, None of this was around. If I wanted to learn something, I had to go find that guy. There was no internet, no email, no online trading, no books, tapes, seminars, to the degree we have now. You can literally uh, get overwhelmed with all the information that's out there today, none of which was available at the time I got started. I had to learn this business from the inside out, and I lost money consistently for years and years and years. I lived in poverty, and when the light went on for me when I learned what this business was really all about and what it took to succeed in it my life changed and I never looked back I personally believe this anyone can learn to be a successful trader but you know what you need to know what this game is really all about And there's two things that you need to really consider one is how you play the game and what the game really is and that's not a function of the market that's a function of psychology and you know what I think you're gonna be surprised to learn this you need to focus on psychology 95 to 99% of the time. Now, for those people that don't agree with that philosophy or for whatever reason uh, would take argument with that, I, I have one thing I want to ask you. Show me your account balance. You know, if you really think you're going to chart your way to success and study books and you're going to study technical systems and all the rest of that, if you really think that's where the money is, show me a guy who's made his fortune doing that. Most people haven't. And I'm not saying that that stuff isn't useful. I think you're going to find out how overestimated it is for its usefulness. And we want to talk through all that. In other words, you could run out of time and money trying to get educated because you really want to know how to do this. And you could run out of time and money trying to get educated. What I want to do is kind of shorten that learning curve for you and really give you a fair head start. And to get that ball rolling, we're going to talk about what the insiders know. And we're going to take a few minutes on zero-sum transactions. For you guys that don't know what that is, uh, you want to listen real carefully. Uh, for those of you that know what it is, you want to open your mind and your thinking to a new way to exploit that knowledge. And we're going to talk about that right now. I'm going to get a PowerPoint up and running. And uh, I'll uh, wish I wish I had uh, wish I could do this live for you to answer questions. And if you may, if you have them, just email me on the site. You know, I'm a, it's important to you know I'm a real guy. I'm a real guy living and working here in downtown Chicago. Here I'm in my home office uh, on a Saturday afternoon putting this stuff together because I really think I got something of value for you. Uh, so shoot me an email if you have questions about what you're seeing here. I'd love to uh, learn more about what you're doing. Uh, let me go ahead and get the uh, PowerPoint up. And if you have questions, shoot, shoot me an email. That's fine. Okay, so what is it the insiders know that you need to know? I think that really boils down the most important thing, really. You have to know what the implications of zero-sum transactions are really all about. And uh, let's get, you know, to, to get started here and make sure that we're all on the same page. I just want to remind you guys, I don't know who's listening to this. I have no idea what your trading background is like or if you're brand new at this. So you need to know that there's a risk here. Trading is a risk investment. You could lose some or all the money in your account. You know, you shouldn't trade unless you can work with money you can afford to lose. And always remember that, you know, you need to be emotionally and financially qualified to trade. If you don't feel you're emotionally or financially ready, then don't do it, you know. Um, but here, what is zero sum? Let's talk about that. What is that we mean by zero sum? The simplest explanation for that is that every, for every buyer out there, there is a seller. That means there is always someone, an actual account somewhere in the world who is on the other side of your trade. You are always on the other side of someone else's trade. In other words, let's say I want to be a buyer and I decide to click the mouse and I decide to buy the market. The only way that order can get filled so I can get in the market and get long, the only way that can happen is if there is somebody on the other side of that trade somewhere through the system that's willing to sell at that exact moment. And since the size and depth of the market is what it is, 
there's always a willing participant somewhere. But the fact is, at that moment when I decide to buy, somebody has to sell it to let me in. Now, there's two orders that are now active, the buy side and the sell side at some price. That means that let's if they're both there to open the positions, then I'm long at a particular price in the market, and the other trader is short at a particular price in the market, right? So why is that important? Well, the reason it's important because you don't make money on a trade unless someone else loses. You know, futures, options, and Forex, these three marketplaces, Forex trading, any of this, results in a loss to one account and a gain to another account all the time. In other words, if I'm long and you sold it to me, you're short, and the market moves higher, I'm making money on the trade, you're losing. When you liquidate and I liquidate, the money from your account is now credited to the winner on the other side of that trade, wherever that is. That means that in order for me to make money, you have to lose it. See, once you're in the market, you will either take money from someone or they will take yours. There is no study or analysis that you're going to do that's going to change that. When you decide to execute and you take the risk and you go, okay, I'm in, and you're ready to go, you put your trade on the table and you're in, at that moment, if you don't know what the order flow is, you lose. So what causes the gain or the loss? Being on the right side of the order flow or the wrong side of the order flow. So when you click that mouse and your trade is live, the game is over at that point. You're done. The only way you can profit now is for enough orders to come into the market from the same side. In other words, if I decide to buy the market, the only way I'm going to make money and take it from you, the seller that let me in, is if more buyers come in at some point later and they're bigger than the selling orders. In other words, as long as the buying orders are more than the selling orders, the market will advance. That's not a function of charting, analysis, software, computer hardware, computer uh, programming. It's not a function of fundamentals, whether the Fed raises rates or lowers rates. It's got nothing to do with that. It has to do with people's willingness to do something. Somebody has to take action. So if I decide to buy the market, there better be a big group of people out there ready to click the mouse on the buy side soon after that happens. And that needs to be bigger than the people willing to click the mouse on the sell side. Because if that don't happen, that trade's not going to work. All the analysis in the world can't help. It doesn't matter how much time and effort and energy you spend studying and reading, blah, blah, blah. If you're on the wrong side of the order flow, you lose. So what is it you want to do? Get on the right side of the order flow, right? Well, that's what the insiders know. The insiders know, the insiders are the professionals, they know whose orders will drive the price favorably in their direction. They know who that is. The insiders don't want you to know that you're the loser. They don't want you to know that you're the guy making this happen for them. See, they want you to believe all that charting and everything, analysis and all that stuff is going to make you money because when you finally get to the point where you're like, okay, this is an obvious place for me to buy or sell. When you say, okay, it's a place for me, it's obvious to buy, they're selling it to you because they know you're on the wrong side of the order flow. You made your choice for the wrong reasons. The insiders know that. That's why they're always making money. See, in a zero-sum game, in order for a winner to make money consistently, he's got to do something different than the loser does. That's what it's all about. Right now, if you're losing or have been losing or continue to lose from here forward, you're on the wrong side of the order flow, and the pros know that. They want you to believe all the hype and the BS because that's where their money comes from. Okay, so why am I telling you all this, right? Why is it that the insiders know that zero-sum transactions are usually done from the wrong side by the loser? You don't want to be that loser. Well, the bottom line is, is they don't want you to know that. They want you to buy into this belief structure. They want you to believe that you can buy a whole bunch of books, a whole bunch of charts, a whole bunch of analysis, a whole bunch of software. Uh, stack your living room up with stacks and stacks. You should see my library. I threw most of it out, thank God. Most of that stuff is, is not going to help you. And they want you to believe it will because they want you to continue to think that the game is about price. It's not. It's not about price. It's not about fundamentals. It's not about study. It's not about reading. It's not about charts. It's not even about automated trading systems. None of that really matters. What matters is, if you're on the wrong side and the order flow comes in on the wrong side, you lose. You have to be focused on order flow first and foremost. In my broadcasts and in my educational seminars, I teach 
the basics and some advanced stuff on how to begin to recognize that. I also teach psychology a training course. We'll talk more about that if you ever want to get in touch with me. I'd love to have you. And uh, I'll help you learn how not to be the loser. But that's not as simple as buying a piece of software. If it was really that simple, then uh, we'd all be rich from day one. See, for 10 years, I bought into this, this belief that you could study and chart your way to a fortune. There was some holy grail. There was some magic bullet, and there isn't one. Think of it this way. Even if you use automated trading robots, which you can take my stuff. My stuff will automate for you. If you want it, we can automate it for you, and it'll trade in real time, and it'll just stack up the orders in your account, and your net results are your net results. We'll do that if you want to do that. Uh, but think of it this way. Think, Let's say you're a Coca-Cola bottler, and you've got an automated machine that just you know takes the Coke bottles and mixes the product and puts the product in the bottles and caps them and boxes them and puts them out on the uh, dock so you can go ship it and sell it and get paid. It's all automated. Right now, let's say you have one machine break. You got to go in there and fix it. You have a Coke bottle spills and all the glass shatters and something happens and the sh that line gets shut down. You got to have somebody in there now that knows what they're doing to fix it and get it right and get it back in production. See, that's you. As the trader, that's you. You're the guy that's got to know this game, understand how it's played, know what the other side is out to do to take your money. And even if you use an automated approach, that's fine. There's going to be times that automated approach isn't going to work too well. You need to know to recognize that. Now, that's what we do all day long and all evening long in some cases in my, uh, in my briefings, in the member area, and in my site, is I help you get educated to those, to those ends. So I hope you'll have a chance to come by regularly. Now, if you don't have to, a lot of good stuff on the site. Uh, if you're uh, financially unable to attend, that's fine. Also, I, I have your email information. We'll make sure and send you the free stuff that I come up with on a regular basis. You're welcome to have that. That's my gift to you. Uh, but if you want to consider being the winner more often than the loser, Give some critical thought to what I've just said for you right now. This is the, I'm, I'm telling this businessman to businessman. I'm not trying to sell you something. I'm telling you, look, man, you don't understand this game. You're on the wrong side of the order flow. I'm going to take your money. Me or a guy that thinks just like me. Believe me, I'm out there. When I trade, there's somebody on the other side of those orders. I know that. I know what he's thinking because I used to think like that. Ten years I was a loser, bought all that stuff. Uh, you don't have to be. I can help you get a little bit better faster. Uh, get there where you need to go faster, maybe shorten your learning curve a little bit. I'd love to get to know you personally anyway because i got some great people on our site, really good quality thinkers, really creative people. Love you to join the party. Uh, so that being said, here's what you can expect next. Next few uh, uh, emails that you'll get, we're going to have the uh, five steps to getting started quickly uh, in order to uh, participate more effectively, jumpstart your trading, and we call it. Uh, we'll have that up to you right away. And in the meantime, thanks again for stopping by the site. Hope you get a chance to uh, spend more time with me and my community. And I hope you learned something. Good luck and good trading. See you soon.